So why would you use a 308 versus a 223 for hog hunting? We've been out here and we've been hog hunting with the 308 Stag 10 and 10S models. They've worked beautifully, but this is a classic case of Rocky versus Ivan Drago. In this round, we've got our Rocky round, which is the 223. Yeah, it's got a lot of heart, but it's gonna take more rounds to bring that hog down. Now, our Ivan Drago corner is the 308. One punch and you're out. Now the 308 round bullet weight is roughly three times the size of that of a 223. So we filled some jugs up with milk, of course, because Rocky drinks milk, right? So we've got 223 round, two liter, nice, nicely done. Good job, Rocky. But now we've got our 308 round. Again, Rocky's gonna get it done, but in the case of these hogs and they're big, we wanna step it up, we wanna go with 308. Now we're gonna show you what a 308 and a 223 does to these two liter bottles. Then we're just gonna blow up Drago. Okay, just looking at the terminal damage that these have done to these water balls, our 223 uh, was hit here, and really it just passed through and it peeled back a little bit. But as you can tell on our 308 here, it's actually passed through and ripped a sizable hole in it. Not a whole lot of difference there, what you're seeing, but when it comes to that plate on that hog, it's about that thick. So you're looking at about an inch thick plate to get through before you even get to the vitals. So Definitely pack a little bit more punch. The 308, probably the better option to go for. It's time to defeat our Drago for the second time. If he dies, he dies.